This video is sponsored by EcoFlow. Hey, what's up y'all? So this is my first video with the iPhone 16 Pro Max and I decided to do some solo camping or glamping, whatever you want to call it here out at the farm. So the video you're seeing right now is actually from the front facing camera ProRes 4K 30 frames per second and I'm also using the built-in microphone. So you let me know how everything sounds and looks throughout this entire video. I'm going to try to use the iPhone as much as I can to capture my camping experience, but I will be using some um, other external cameras throughout the day and night and morning as well. So anyway, it looks like we might get some weather here you can see from those clouds so let me go ahead and start getting my campsite set up and i'm going to be using the iphone for most of this setup so let's do it and i'm just getting started here but i'm gonna take a little bit of a break and let this rain pass And just like that, it's over. All right, finally, uh, the tent is up. It's a pretty big boy just for me, but I like to be comfortable. So let me go ahead and get this thing uh, decorated. All right, so now it's time to bring out the big guns or actually the little gun here. So this is the EcoFlow R3, very compact little portable battery or slash power station. So I'm gonna use this to actually inflate my air mattress because this does plug into a normal AC outlet, but this R3 does have two right there on the front. And let me go ahead and get this plugged in like so. I need to rip this off. But anyway, let me hit the uh, AC button there and this will turn it on and we're in business. We are moving. So yeah, this little guy comes in clutch on the uh, campsite here. And so this should be blown up here in just a couple of minutes. And yeah, we're looking good here. So we are done. Let me turn that off. And now I can go ahead and unplug this from the R3 and go ahead and repurpose it somewhere. All right, so let me take a break from setting up for a second. So anyway, the purpose of this video is for me to get outside of the city and take this iPhone 16 Pro Max somewhere that I normally wouldn't be doing a video like this. But um, it's been a pretty good phone so far as far as like my first impressions. Build quality wise, it's on point. Um, it feels and does look very similar to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I went with the like almost gold color, which I like, but I wish they would have went like full on, like really bright with this color. I know it's not officially gold, but I would like to see this color just be a little bit more bolder. But other than that it's a nice looking phone i love how the trim of the phone is in that darker color which looks pretty nice and one of the new features of this phone which is actually on all of the new iphone 16s this year is actually this camera control which is not a button according to apple but you know to everyone else it is going to be like a camera control button but basically this sits on the right hand side of the phone and when you are in landscape mode my index finger fits very nicely on top of it so now i can press it once to open up the camera app i can press it again to be able to take a photo i can press and hold to 
take a video. And then also you can kind of do like a half press and this will bring up some of the different settings that you have in your camera app. So you can change between some of the different photographic styles. You can change between some of the zooms and different things like that. But my first thoughts about this button is that it is gonna take me a little while to get used to and just remembering that it is there. And also too, it is a little bit weird to be able to use the controls and trying to figure out exactly how hard I need to press it. So it could get better with time. I'm not gonna say for sure, but I'll follow up on how this button works in my full review of this phone. So stay tuned for that. Um, but other than that, I've been liking the battery life of this phone. It's pretty similar to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, a day and a half easy of this phone. So this battery life is clutch for situations like this where I don't have a traditional wall outlet to plug into, but this can only go so far. But uh, I am happy that EcoFlow sent over this R3 so I can use this for this particular situation. And oh, I've been calling it the R3, but its actual full name is the EcoFlow River 3. So this is my first camping experience with this little portable power station, which according to EcoFlow is around like 30% smaller to its competition. So it's a really good size. I mean, it's small enough to be able to be thrown into a backpack, uh, but I also like the fact that I can move it around my campsite very easily. And I see myself really using it as like a central location for people to charge up their phones or their laptops or their tablets when I am camping or just in my backyard throwing a party or something. Uh, but I like the fact that it does have two USB type A ports. It does have a USB C port. Now, some people might not like that it only has one USB C port, but they do sell bigger power stations with more ports. But the good thing about this one port on this is that it does run up to 100 watts. And this is also just more efficient than more traditional chargers. This is a GAN charger, which has a 240 watt hour capacity, a total of 300 watt rated output, and also X boost up to 600 watts for some of those more power hungry devices that need a little bit more wattage. And also those two AC outputs, and it also does have a car outlet or a cigarette lighter port on it as well. And you also have a couple of ways you can charge the power station itself. You can use a solar panel or you can actually just plug it into the wall. And then if you do plug it into an AC outlet, it will only take around like an hour to get this thing fully charged. And I don't have to worry about this thing getting a little wet because it is rated IP54 as well. So it does have some durability in this small package. But besides using this River 3 to charge my 16 Pro Max, I am going to be mostly using it to charge my Starlink Mini because I don't get any good cell reception out here. So I'm kind of off the grid a little bit. And yeah, with this Mini plugged into one of the AC ports on the River 3, it's only pulling around 20 to 30 watts. So that's actually pretty good. And that's enough for this power station to be able to run it for multiple hours. All right, so now I'm back on my iPhone here. But yeah, that's enough of a break. Let me go ahead and get a fire going and also figure out what I'm going to eat. Okay, so I got the fire going right there. It's a little old fire, but it's enough for just me. So anyway, it got completely dark out here. So I'm about to attend to this fire, eat something, and then I'll wake up in the morning and come back and talk to you. But for now, go ahead and enjoy some of this 4K, 120 frames per second footage of the fire. Alrighty, good morning, good morning. Time to get up and uh, get this day started. Looking nice out there. So, uh, 
Good morning to you. So, uh, yeah, I went to bed a little bit early around like, what, nine o'clock or so last night. So, um, anyway, I didn't show you the inside of my tent yet. So it's a pretty nice setup here. I like this tent, very spacious. And I did spoil myself a little bit with an inflatable couch and also the air mattress. But I love having plenty of space and also the built in lighting and stuff like that. You can't really see it during the daytime, but at night it looks very nice. But I guess I can go ahead and talk about the camera. So I'm actually using the cinematic mode, which I don't use that often on the iPhones, but I'm using it right now. So it's going to blur out that background give you a little bit of depth of feel when you are recording some videos so you let me know how it looks but outside of those driving shots that i did yesterday which were shot in action mode to be able to give me more stabilization because i did have the uh, phone mounted on my car so that was like what 2.7k but outside of those shots um everything i've been recording has been 4k and either 60 frames per second 30 frames per second when i am using prores and when i haven't been shooting prores i've been keeping it at 4k 120 frames per second because the good thing about that is that you can always go into the photos app and adjust the frame rate of the video so that's nice so you don't really have to worry about switching between 120 and 60 and 30 and stuff just leave it at 120 most of the time and you'll be fine and oh i actually just got back from chicago so i went up there to see han zimmer in concert if you don't know who he is he's basically to me the goat of movie composers right so he does the uh, soundtracks for a lot of movies for christopher nolan like the dark knight series and also interstellar inception he's done lion king yeah everyone should know lion king um also he's done done you know Pirates of the Caribbean James Bond a whole bunch of di different things but anyway that was a good chance to test out the low light capabilities of this phone so the concert had a lot of lights and you know flashing things going on it was pretty cool and the 4k 120 actually came in really good here because I was able to slow down the video footage to really show the emotion of the artists when they were playing their instruments or people were singing and dancing and moving around on stage but yeah even just outside of the concert I was walking around Chicago just taking photos and videos with this phone and actually taking some photos in the videos comparing this phone to the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. That video will be coming a little bit later. And uh, one of my uh, college friends, uh, Mixon, who has a fitness channel and also follow him on social media. He's just like a world traveler, really cool dude. But uh, he actually uh, uh, helped me out with taking some of that footage up in Chicago. So I appreciate uh, that from him. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm very happy with the results uh, from the cameras on these phones. I can go into the specs and things like that, but it's better for me just to show you some of the videos and photos that I've been taking so far. All right. So, oh, so you probably been wondering why am I standing up right now but I wanted to check the audio coming from the iPhone and it's actually pretty good so uh, this entire section right here has been me just using the audio from the iPhone so I'll take off my little backup uh, microphone here that I'm not going to be using for this section there you go. But as you can hear, the sound quality is pretty legit coming from this iPhone. I'm about six feet away just for reference here, and it's sounding pretty good. Um, but anyway, the sun is coming out and blinding me, so let me get up here and start moving and getting some stuff done and also uh, get my breakfast ready, which I think is just going to be hot dogs. I have no buns, no ketchup, no mustard, just the hot dogs. But anyway, I'm hungry, so let's get to it.
All right, so yeah, that hot dog, or should I say hot dogs, were pretty good. So anyway, I was planning to be out here for a while today, but I actually have something I have to do back in the city. So I actually have to start packing up. I have to be there in like three hours. So I have to get everything packed up and get out of here. But um, yeah, this video was just, you know, something different. I liked it, and hopefully you did like it as well. Give this video a like if you did like it. Um, but my review will definitely be covering more things like Apple Intelligence, software features, and other things like that. And also one more quick shout out to the EcoFlow River 3, that power station I've been showing throughout this video. So I'm going to drop a link down below in the description it'll take you straight to the product page it only costs 199 dollars which is pretty good for that size and the performance of it and i also add a coupon code down there that's good for an extra five percent off of the river three until october 25th of this year but let me get out of here i'm already running behind schedule like always i really want to thank you all for watching this video and also just supporting me for all of these years give this video a like if you did like it but yeah like always i do want to thank you for watching this video and i will catch you later peace